Hello YouTube, welcome to another video from the e-innovators. This video is an addition to our series of videos on the Arduino guide for beginners. We are going to conduct a step-by-step -step lesson explaining how to interact with different sensors using Arduino. Let's start. Today we are going to learn how to work with LCD using an Arduino. LCDs can be used to display the text notification to the user, display sensor reading and much more. Let's look at LCDs and displays. Following are the same type of LCDs using with Arduino. Liquid crystal display 16x2 and 20x4. OLED display. Nokia 5110 LCD. Color TFT LCD. Today we will be using liquid crystal display 16x2. It is the most commonly used crystal and is easy to program. There are a couple of ways in which you can connect the LCD. The first one is to connect directly with the Arduino. In this case, the problem is that there is a huge bundle of wires to connect. If anywhere in the circuit the connection loses, LCD will not work. So we will be using the I2C module. Liquid Crystal Display I2C is the communication protocol used to exchange data with the help of the two data lines. There are following SDA data line and SCL clock line. Now the next step is to download the library of the Liquid Crystal Display I2C module. Libraries are provide extra functionality for use in sketches. Example, working with hardware on manipulating data. You can download the library from the link in the description below. Now it's time to include the library in the Arduino. Click on sketches. Include library. Add zip library. Now click on the file you have stored the downloaded library. I have stored it in the downloads as you can see. Now click on the library and your library is included on the Arduino IDE. That was quite easy. Now let's get on to something more fun. Let's build the circuit. Equipments or components required are Jumper wires Arduino UNO LCD I2C module In the I2C module, there are 4 pins Ground, VCC, SDA and SCL First of all, connect the ground pin on the Arduino with the ground pin on the I2C module Then connect the VCC pin of the I2C module with the 5V pin on the Arduino Furthermore, connect the SDA pin of the I2C module with SDA pin of the Arduino on the top right corner. After that, connect the SCL pin of the I2C module with the SCL pin of Arduino. The circuit is completed. It's time to power up the Arduino. So far, so good. The next step is to find out the address of our I2C module. To find it, you need to run the same code for that. Click on the link in the description below. Scroll down and copy this code and paste it on the Arduino IDE. Remember to remove the comments in the code to avoid any errors while verification of the code. Later on, verify and upload the code on your Arduino. After that, open the serial monitor by clicking the key on the top right corner of your Arduino IDE. Here you would find the address of the I2C module. Now let's run the example code for the LCD. First of all, you need to include two libraries in the setup function above. First one is wire.h for the I2C communication and the second one is liquid crystal underscore I2C for the display on the LCD. 
variable of lcd of a data type liquid crystal underscore i2c is like integer data type however there is a difference the int data type is user defined and the data type liquid crystal underscore i2c is the function like setup and loop setup the difference is that loop setup does not take argument whereas liquid crystal i2c takes three arguments first is i2c address and other two are rows and columns of lcd as we are using 16 by 2 so we will put 16 and 2 and the address is ox27 moving on in the setup function you need to initialize the lcd with the lcd.init and to turn on the lcd backlight write command lcd.backlight furthermore in the loop function the first thing is to set cursor let's understand this with the diagram this lcd has two parts first is column and the other is row the origin is 0 comma 0 here if you want to start from the origin so write lcd dot set cursor 0 comma 0 print command is used to print any type of message if you are using string so include the quotation marks otherwise for numbers write as it is let's print hello world on the lcd So guys that's it for today i hope you guys liked the video if you did please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe the channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible see you guys in the next video peace out